all right in this tutorial we'll learn about security feature that is rotating key vault automatically so we have this architecture diagram let's dive into the portal and implement it so in the azure portal we need to search for key vault we'll begin by creating one key vault from the scratch let's click on the create button then we need to select a resource group where we want to create the key vault then we need to name the key vault next we need to select the region pricing tier next we need to select and retain uh, the deleted vaults we need to mention one duration let's make it 45 soft delete is enabled purge protection we need to uh, be careful because uh, once we enable it cannot be changed the same if you look here that if it's set to true it cannot be changed or then remove we need to be uh, careful let's go to the next section next we need the permission model we can use our back or key vault access policy for now let's use key vault access policy next here we need to select our uh, access policy that is our own user we can also edit the uh, different permissions which we want to uh, grant that is for uh, key permissions i have selected all now for certificate similarly i have selected all so depending upon that we can add or remove anything right so for now let's uh, keep it as is now let's go to the next tab next is the networking looks good we'll keep as is now let's go to review and create this looks good let's click on the create button our deployment is in progress let's wait for a while till the deployment completes all right our deployment is complete now let's go to the resource next let's uh, go to the object then we'll go to the uh, keys next we need to click on generate and import we'll create one rsa 2048 uh, key size let's uh, name our key this looks good 2048 key size uh, next we can set an activation date as well and set an expiration date by clicking here we can uh, use the calendar and the time for now we don't want uh, so let's uh, select uh, deselect it we'll uh, click on enable next is the key rotation policies so here lies the entire concept if you look at the architecture diagram this is what we want about uh, we want to set a duration then it should automatically uh, regenerate a new key so let's implement this this will be uh, everything will be happening uh, we don't have to do much let's click on not configured here we need to select the expiration time uh, let's select uh, like uh, can can be like 30 days uh, looks good then enable auto rotation it's disabled currently let's enable it now here we have the rotation time when we want to rotation uh, rotate so let's uh, change please make sure it's by default months right we need to select it to days uh, let's make it 18 looks good or we can make it 15 as well it doesn't matter all right this option is grayed out currently once we save it it will automatically ask us to change right for now we cannot edit it we let's click on ok it says configured then we are uh, good so immutable these options are grayed out currently not available let's click on create so please do not worry since we have created uh, these uh, we can anytime change the uh, duration as well let's uh, click on the uh, managed uh, under the object keys then cloud guru amit key this is what we have created now if you uh, look here the current version it shows this one right and here we have the rotation policy as well let's first click on this one so here again if you look we have the same things like set expiration date which we uh, like had previously right uh, also like we can uh, check the key identifier this is our key identifier we can also download the public key so these are some of the uh, options are available and also uh, permitted operations which we have uh, selected those are also available we can anytime modify it let's close this now let's go back to the one of the important uh, concept that is rotation policy so this tutorial is about rotation key rotation so if you remember uh, we have configured this few moments back right so uh, this was 30 days correct so we can also change it if you don't want we can change it to uh, let's see 19 days or something right if we do it uh, 19 days if you it will show you warning that least is 28 days so we we need to give the minimum so there are uh, please note minimum values we cannot uh, set anything let let's decrease the rotation date as well to two if we select two you will see this warning that it must be cannot be less than seven right so this is the minimum value which we need to provide so please uh, keep this in mind right also uh, 
let's see if you don't want to wait uh, t- till this date um, rotation seven days uh, you can also we can also do it manually please note this current version it end with c46 if i click rotate now it says new version of this key will be generated rotate key okay okay see now uh, this becomes the current version the new key this is the older version right which we had c46 it ends with so this is uh, what the entire concept of key rotation that is for uh, security organizations do key rotations on a regular basis to ensure security so i hope you found this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching this video